Hello everyone, welcome back to Dark Sage Walker, and I'm actually going to play some Mario Maker. We're gonna hit up Endless Challenge. I mean, I probably could do something along the lines of just... <laughs> along the lines of just going into hot courses or popular courses, but no. I would rather start an expert Endless. Embark on that journey, Mario. Show him who's boss. Alright, so, hopefully we get some good levels. I look forward to showing off some uh, showing off something fun here. Okay, so let's see what you've got for me. All right, so you want people to learn how to shell jump. I have no idea how to do that. It's one of those things I probably should learn. I mean, like that. Okay, not exactly what I meant to do, but it works. Alright, let's relearn how to do this. Come on. Thank you. Ah, almost. Alright, this is not a trick that I... that I previously learned. So, take it with a grain of salt. Alright, so far so good. If you wanted this to be an educational tool, you maybe should have, you know, done something along the lines of put in, like, markers where you're expected to do things with at. You know, just some way of educating players who don't normally do this sort of thing. As is, I gotta say, this is kind of a rude awakening for expert. Damn. Alright, well... This is one of those things I might come back to on, on my own. As is, I kinda wanna see other levels, so I apologize. You can do expert levels without doing that. You say it's easy, but, you know, the algorithm says otherwise. Oops. I done goofed! But yes, I know about P-switch jumps. This is nothing big. I just don't know how long he wants you to keep this up for. Okay, that's a douchebag jump right there. I should not have fallen for your tricks! Well, that was my own fault. I made an oops. Yeah, thanks. Just out of curiosity. Uh, clears zero. How did you get into endless mode then? Oh, someone probably liked it without clearing it. That makes sense. That is not what I meant to do. You, you, you mess with me. You mess with me. Now, let's be fair about this. The whole jumping off of a P-switch on the same frame as you jump on it, 
That is not an easy mechanic for most people. And also the orphan orphan pipe there. You gotta not do that. Also, why are you calling this easy? It almost feels like you're patronizing to the people who play your level. It's like, oh, why can't you beat it? It's so easy! I get the feeling you know what you're doing. Well, I mean, I beat it, but trust me, I'm not sure I feel accomplished on that one. I kind of feel like you were... I don't know. I don't know. I like the concept. I'm just not sure I like the creator. Also, why did it say zero clears if someone has a world record on it? I don't know. I like the concept. I'm just not sure the creator really... Eh, anyway. Not exactly what I would call a great high, high score here. But remember, before I was playing on normal. The Twisted Temple. I'm pretty sure I can't jump up there, but there's a part of me that just wants to know. Okay. Alright, sir, how twisted is your temple? And good use for twisters. I'm not good with the twister, make no mistake. Okay, pretty sure. Why is that even there? Like, seriously, why is that even there? Oh, wait, I see. Come with me, my friend. We will make history. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> we will make history as soon as I've learned how to, you know, walk. That is the difficulty here. We, we must make history, but I must first walk. No, sir, what are you doing? Stop. There we go. Now I understand the point of this. Oh, enemy interaction, okay. I'm not supposed to bring that down to me! Well, this is actually teaching me some very neat things that I can do with twisters. And once again, I feel like I got messed up by my own stupidity. Okay, why do I need to hit the on-off switch? What is the point of this? I hit it, but I don't think I get the point. Also, your point could have been served there a little bit better by doing something a little different with the... Oh, I see. So it's meant to just hold things there while you line this up. Okay, this is kind of... there should have been another way to fill in that. Because leaving it up to the whims of the game and when the claw decides to let go of the muncher, that's a little much. This one part here could end up eating up the entire timer if I keep getting unlucky, and that's not a hallmark of good design. Everything else so far has been wonderful design, but this... Yeah, this, this has issues. And 
thanks to all the one-way gates, if you want, if you want to see the rest of the level, you've got to play it. You've got to play it this way. This is actually really annoying. Like this one spot in the level makes me not like it. Everything else has been neat so far, and there's design choices that I could learn from that. But this part? No. This part, you should have just put like a hidden block with like a with like a power block in it, so you can just fill in that gap instead of having to hope to get lucky. See, one thing that I always say when it comes to designing designing levels like this is you should always have other people test your levels because you never know when one of your ideas is really good or if you're just completely psychotic. This is one of those design choices where it's new, where I have to think the rest of the level someone would be going, I like it, I like it, this is fun, I dig it, and then they hit this part and you go, oh, piece of shit. Oh, and thanks to the design, you can't even decide when... Oh my goodness. So I finally got it lined up, but because the twister wasn't moving... Okay, yeah, this part... Like, I was being nice before, but this part can absolutely go suck a dick. Oh, I'm dumb. Yeah, I'm... that one part pissed me off. I'm sorry. Alright, Landon, what do you got for me? What is 4-3? Alright, I mean, I get it. Is this douchebag jumps the level? I mean, apparently so, but... I mean, so far it's not so bad. Okay, actually, you know what? That wasn't so bad. I think, here's a level that tests your motor functions. Actually, I did like that. I mean, to be fair, yes, it was douchebag jumps the level, but... It was done in such a way that it wasn't overly antagonistic, and I appreciate that. Alright. What do you got for me, Japanese player? Jump on these bonsai bins! Did not mean to... Oh. Oh my! Alright, try again. Once again, the design isn't overly antagonistic. It expects a lot out of you, make no mistake. Okay, so you have to beat him over there, then bounce up, and okay. This seems like it might be one of those trial and error levels that's... <clears throat> That's best not placed in expert. Almost had it. And you say it's a speedrun level, I think it's more of a themed level. Also, for as much as I dislike Music Note Box, I have no problem with trampolines. Oh no, what have I done? Alright, come on, girl, we can do it. We're not letting one level beat us. I mean, we might, but it won't be a matter of letting it beat us. It'll be a matter of, that was actually legit tricky. Hey, if there were one problem I was seeing, it's that... It's that the design isn't necessarily 100% straightforward. But I don't have a huge amount of problem with that doesn't need to be straightforward in order to be well designed. Oh, 
Oh, I see what he's going for. Alright, so I might not beat this level on this pass, but you know what? I will I will give it a like. This level is creatively designed. I appreciate that. Even if it is kicking my ass. Boing, boing, ah, boing. Oh, I screwed up. I don't mind getting my ass kicked as long as I'm getting my ass kicked by something that's, you know, interesting. If it's just, ha ha, you didn't hit, you went to the wrong pipe, I killed you. And again, we're talking about very antagonistic design there, and I don't appreciate that. Oh, oh no, oh no, no. I didn't make the jump. Guys, I didn't make the jump. That time I made the jump. That time I did not make the jump, but at least I didn't get super punished for not making the jump. Cloud platform, single pile jump, pile jump? Sing wait, single pile jump? Did I really just say that? Ain't so bad, we can just go restart. Yeah, I would definitely say themed is more appropriate than speedrun for this. And if you're trying to tell people that they need speed to clear some of these jumps, I mean, you are correct about that, but it doesn't make it a speedrun level, sir. I'm just saying. Bonsai! No! <laughs> I do very much enjoy what's going on here. This is... This is some well-designed platforming, except for this part is a little overly, overly tricky, but you know- Oh no! Oh, oh no! I apologize, I turned into Knuckles there for a minute. Boing, 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 boing. Whee! Alright. Um, sir, your, your platform, it died. S sir, your, pla your platform died. I don't know if that's like a, that's just a really bad level glitch, because I was liking this level up until that point, and I still already dropped a like on it, because I love the idea, but, but, but your platform died. Your platform died, sir, I'm sorry. That thwomp killed your platform. You should, you should go talk to him and get a, and get a little bit of reimbursement for the money that you spent on that platform. Burning Cold Christmas. Well, already I gotta say, your grammar doesn't make a lot of sense. Alright, do I need this for something? Also, why are you making me make a leap of faith? This is not a good sign when the level starts off with you just having to be like, Eh, jump, fucker, you can do it! Once again, the design there is the problem. If if you want people to jump on the P-Switch, first of all, I would say either make in the Super Mario Brothers style so that picking up the P-Switch isn't an option, or, alternatively, put like an arrow pointing to the P-Switch as a way of saying, jump here, dummy. Regardless, I can't necessarily say that, I, that I'm mad about that, it's just, man, two? It's not much of a high score, but I'm gonna cut it there, we'll come back to this later on. Maybe I'll be in a better spot, or maybe I'll just find better levels, who knows. I like some of those levels, don't get me wrong. The ideas, I think, are definitely much more creative than what you're seeing in normal mode. 
I just need to, you know, put on my big boy pants. But thank you very much for watching. If you like what you saw, subscribe to the channel to see more in the future. Drop a like, leave a comment, but best thing you can do with this video is to share it with a friend. My name is Dark Sage Walker, and more Mario Maker to come in the future.